Hey, what's up, guys? Space Edge here. Welcome back to more Genshin Impact. And version 4.6 is finally here. We got Arlequino's banner out at long last and also uh, Linny's rerun. We got Arlequino's story quest along for weekly boss and also the new areas and uh, new world bosses for Arlequino's materials. And of course, in today's stream, we're going to be summoning for Arlequino and just hoping to get her. And along for a weapon as well, because... Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, the scythe looks really badass on her. And yeah, this this is probably like the first time I've ever summoning on a weapon banner, like voluntarily. I usually avoid weapon banners if at all possible, but I think this time around, I think I will try to attempt to summon on the weapon banner along with Arlequino. I think uh, what we're gonna aim for is a uh, C zero Arlequino and at least like yeah S one weapon. I think that's what the bare minimum we're gonna aim for. But alrighty, uh. Yeah, before we get to uh, playing for Articuno, I actually want to test her out real quick just to see her gameplay mechanics and whatnot because, yeah, I should just see, like, yeah, her gameplay first before we begin pulling. But god, look at her design, though. <laughs> I, I just love the black, white, and uh, red aesthetic on her. It just looks so good looking. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, look at that. Her weapon transforms to a fucking scythe when you, like, basic attack of her. <laughs> That is so cool. Okay, so what are her skills again? Puts on the blood of death and then it will infuse pyro when the bond of life is more than 65% of her max HP. And then she will heal that HP over time with like basic attacks, but not also charge attacks, I believe. Uh, every five seconds, it will deal pyro instance to opponents. Uh, when Arcane uses charge attack or elemental burst, she will absorb and clear nearby blood depth directives. Each directive absorb grants her a bond of life worth 65% of her max HP. Maximum value of the bond of life can be granted through blood death directives within 35 seconds after using her elemental skill is 145% of her max HP. Interesting that this cannot be leveled up unless maybe... Yeah, no, it can't. And then, yeah, her burst is pretty much just to clear the, the, the blood death. And it pretty much just like Hu Tao. If you're low on HP, use it for damage and also to heal you back up. And then also, Arlequin will be granted Bond of Life 130% of her max HP when an opponent to which she, uh, she herself applied... a directive is defeated also oh, when a enemy with directive dies right then five seconds after a directive is applied it will be upgraded to a blood depth due when absorbed it will instead grant arlequino bond of life uh worth 130 percent of uh, a bond of life created in the aforementioned ways kind of exceed the original limit yeah pretty much blood of depth keep that on her because when she has that on it will be very good for her Okay, and then her other talents. Uh, Arlequino gains 1% all elemental and fizz resistance for every 100 attacks she has in excess of 1,000. Oh, so it's like a defensive one, just so you don't, I guess, <laughs> your HP doesn't drop so quickly. Also, yeah, I believe... Yeah, okay, so yeah, she has a passive talent here that is offensive and not like exploration. While in combat, Arlequino gains a 40% power damage bonus and can only be healed through Bale Moon Rising. She cannot be healed by any other means. So if you use like Kokomi, Barbara, Farina, or Baiju, whatever, they won't heal her. She can only heal using her ults. I don't think she can even heal using the Statue of the Seven. Actually, will she even heal if you feed her? I, I gotta test that out when I when I pull for her, but she cannot be healed, period, unless you use her burst. Yeah, let's just let's just play around and just uh, see what she's all about. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so you want to use the charge attack to get the bond of life. Holy mother of damage though, holy shit. Holy 10k? Oh yeah, that's the shit right there. I don't even need the other characters. 20k, look at that. And then yeah, let's look at her burst real quick. Oh, the finger snap. Oh, that's so good actually. Okay, so... It's somewhat more like of an advanced Hu Tao. It's like, yeah, you want to use her skill, use charge attacks, and then use ultimate when uh, she's low on HP. I don't think her burst deals that much damage. I think the her main source of DPS is from her charge attacks and normal attacks and whatnot. So that's good to know. But alrighty, now that we've tested out uh, Arlequino, I think it's about time for us to begin pulling for her. Also, yeah, it does seem like, yeah, she requires like shielders instead of healers. Okay. It is time for us to begin summoning for our father. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, a bit of a summoning ritual going on around here. We got Linny and, and Framne, the House of Hearth members, in the party right now because uh, <laughs> to increase my chances of uh, bringing Arlequino home. 
And also we're summoning on the grave site here where Arlequino buried her friend and also that one child that uh, she did in her trailer in hopes that it increases our chances of getting her. I'm not sure if summoning on a grave site is exactly a good idea, but it was either this or the building she blew up in uh, in her animated short. And ultimately, I kind of decided this place. Will it bring us actual good luck to get Arlequino? Who knows? We'll just have to find out. But alrighty, boys. It's about time we begin summoning for Arlequino for father. Uh, okay, so the pity right now is actually very high. So this could be either a very short summoning session or who knows, maybe it's gonna, it's gonna like screw me over. But yes, the last five star pulled on my FTP account here is Risley. And <laughs> yeah, 70, our pity's at 75 right now. So Arlokita could very well come home in this sand bowl or we could lose 50-50 and need to go the full 75 again. But here's hoping that's not the case. Yeah, I think I have enough Primus to also summon for her weapon. So we will do that as well. Yeah, tr try to get her weapon, but if we fail, to get it, then I'm just going to leave it at that because I do want to save up my rest of my primos for Clorand and Siegeween because they're both coming out in 4.7. But alrighty, folks, it's about time we begin summoning for Arlequino. But alrighty, here we go. This could be like a very short summoning for Arlequino or it could just be can we lose 50-50 and then we just have to go the full 8 meters. Hit that like button in chat to give me some luck, by the way, because I'll definitely need it. Okay, we're at 75 pity right now. The 5 star will definitely most likely come home here and this will be going from 70, 75 pity to 85 pity can we get arlequino right here right now all right <laughs> let's do it chat three two one father come home doctor you're huge <laughs> do you do you guys think doctor we huge will work on genshin who knows maybe, maybe it will who knows <laughs> but alrighty, five star came home Will it be Arlequino or will it <laughs> will it be something else that I don't like? Here we go. Okay, 76. 77, Fremmy boy. That's a good sign. 78. Well. God damn it. That, uh, can, uh, F. F. F's in the chat, boys. F's in the chat. Pack it up. It's it's Jover. Unless, okay, so we're back to like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, good, Lynette is here too. Six. Wow. <laughs> Both four stars came home, but we got a Mona instead. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's Jover, chat. It's, it's Jover. Yeah, will I even have enough to summon on Arlequino's like weapon at this point? I'm not sure. But what, what constellation was that Mona? Okay, so I see one Mona, which is not too bad, but still. God damn it! Bottom of the sea. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go the full 10 yards here, folks, to uh, get Arlequino. I was kind of hoping this wouldn't happen, but eh, it did, and uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to put in another like 75 pulls or ish to get Arlequino again, unless she comes home early, which I highly doubt. But here's believing. Here's hoping that she does come home. Let's try again. So we're back down to seven pity. So this is gonna go up to 17 pity. Let's just begin the, the hike up back to uh, Arlequino's like pity. Yeah, I'm gonna cross my fingers good that she does come home early, like very early. Like come home in this temple right now, father. I've got your House of Hearth members right here, ready for you. And yeah, I'm ready to begin farming for you once you're here. So let us begin right away. Okay, Doctor, you're huge in work. So we should say like a different phrase. Um, Father, you're huge. Let's go to 17 pity. Okay, four star. I don't think I care about the four stars per se, but I think actually, no, my Lynette and Fremne are not C6, so will be nice to get them. Oh, cool. I get the bell instead. <laughs> I get Fremne's uh, banner weapon. <laughs> well, this is off to a great start. <laughs> okay, so now we're in 17 pity right now. This is going from 17 to 27. Yeah, I I'm really just cross my fingers tight, hoping, hoping for an Arlequino early summon. But alrighty, 17 to 27. Let's go. Arlequino. Oh, wait, why is it loading? Is it too late to call this the worst summoning session? Uh, the stream got cut short because my Wi-Fi died. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, what a terrible turn of events. I lose 50-50 on Arlequino and get a C1 Mona. I got the bell, the worst four-star weapon in the game. And then my Wi-Fi dies midway through my stream. It's just, man, 
I don't think I don't think these summons are getting any better. But okay, yeah, we're back. We're back. <laughs> I can't help but feel like Star Rail has like taken all my luck because I got Ventry and Jing Liu so close to each other. It's like my bad luck is now showing through in Genshin, and I'm just. <laughs> yeah, just lugging my way to get Arlequino. you know. Yeah, we did like 20 pulls and it's, yeah, our pulls are still the same. So I believe we're still at 17 pity right now. So we're just going to, yeah, go ahead and just resume our Arlequino summons here. We were at, okay, 17 pity. This is going to be 27 pity. Yeah, let's just pull. Please, Arlequino, just come home right now. Nope. Unfortunate. I'm just, I'm going to skip this. Hey, okay, Lynette's cool and all, but I would much prefer to get an Arlequino. Yeah, let's continue the pulse here. Yeah, 27 to 37. Let's go. Arlequino, father. Okay. Oh, and the flute weapon? Really? I don't even use that weapon. You know, honestly, I don't think I want to summon here anymore. I'm going to move here. I'm going to switch my summoning spots. Yeah, I think this <laughs> being near the grave for like summoning for Arlequino is bad luck for me. I'm going to move for Yeah, instead, I'm going to move myself towards the area where she like obliterated the uh, the old knave. Yeah, this is where it all happened. She blew the roof out of this place. And yeah, the the old nave just perished. So we're going to be summoning here instead. Hoping that it will uh, give us a bit more chances of getting Arlequino. But okay, let's resume our summons here. We were at uh, 37 before. Yeah, okay, so now we're going to go from 37 to 47. Let's begin pulling. Arlequino, come home. Uh, nope, not it either. Up, Shangling, hey. <laughs> I don't even need a Shangling because I think I have a C6. I do. Uh, I believe we're at 47 now. Um, yeah, slowly but surely coming up to Petty here, but I still have hope that we can get her early. Still have hope. But alright, 47 Pity to 57 Pity. Let's go. Arlequino, father, come on. Father, come home. Eh, uh, nope. Not this either. Damn, Shangling again? Bro. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna just gonna go to hard pity here because I'm just so unlucky with this banner. God, I've like bet it to your luck right now. Okay, but I'm still gonna keep going though. I'm still gonna keep going. I'm not gonna give up just yet. I still want father. I still wanna yeah, farm for her and yeah, get her to the best that she possibly can be. But okay, now we're on 57 pity, I believe. It was only like 20 pulls until like soft pity, but I here's hoping she at least comes home like 10 pulls early. Maybe. We'll, we'll see, but yeah, let's begin the poll right now. 57 pity to 67 pity. Arlequino, please, please come home. I've been unlucky enough as is. Okay, there we go. That's early. Slightly early, like 10 pulls early, but I don't care. It's still early. Hey, we got a Lynette as well. Let's go. I am the name. Arlequino, oh yeah, I forgot they do this. Of the Fatui Harbingers. Okay. At the very least, one lucky thing did happen was, which was us, yeah, us getting Arlequino early. What was that? Like 60... No, that's on like directly on 70. So like five pulls before like soft pity. But still, a win is a win. And I will gladly take Arlequino, father at long last. So we got her and that's all that matters. Still upset about that C1 Mona, but who cares? Can we get a second one though? Can we? It's just a makeup for me losing 50-50. Ah, nah, I'm not gonna be that lucky. <laughs> hey, we got her though. We got her and that's all that matters. Hey, there she is. Alekino the Knave. Right, okay, she, so she can actually turn any weapon to a, into a scythe. Yeah, let me put on, <laughs> let me put on the magic sword, the, the, the lance <laughs> that I got from the event. <laughs> yes, it's magic girl Arlequino with a scythe. And yeah, I believe that Scythe N only turns red if you have her signature weapon, which we will get for her in a second here. But alrighty, we got Arlequino. She's finally arrived. <laughs> Thank God, after me losing 50-50 the first time around. 10 pulls early, but still, it's still early. Okay, and now with my remaining Primos, we're going to actually be trying to summon for her weapon. I know, <laughs> we've already had some bad luck so far, but I still have a bit of luck to get her weapon. So, yes, this lance looks badass and hell, as, and I do really want to see Arlequino use her signature weapon because it falls on, full on turns into a red scythe, which I really, really want on her. And yeah, not to mention the scythe seems kind of broken on her, so here's hoping we do get it within these uh, weapon pulse summons. But okay, uh, let me check my weapon banner pity, actually. I don't know when was the last time I summoned on the weapon banner. Oh no, a thousand. Oh, right, yeah, Nahida's weapon, which was like 37 pity. Okay, so maybe in like. 
40-ish pulls, we should get the five-star weapon. And fingers crossed it turns out to be her scythe. Fingers crossed that that happens. And I believe the soft pity for the weapon matter is like 60-something. So, shouldn't take as many pulls to do so, but yeah. As soon as we get the first five-star weapon, I'm stopping it there. If we don't get the scythe... I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to spend all my primos because I do want to save some of them for Siege Ween or Clorand. But okay, here we go. 37 pity to 47 pity on the weapon banner. Here's hoping we get the scythe. Cross my fingers tight. Let's go! Scythe, come on! Uh, nope, four star. Okay, no no five star just yet, but uh, can I get the claymore though? Uh, I guess the Furbonis Warbow is pretty good as well. I actually don't have to claim more there. That's not eye perception. Boo. Boo. Bad weapon. <laughs> I I hate this weapon, honestly. It's so useless. Okay, but fail? Okay. Not successful on the first pull. We're at 47 pity, though. So we are inching our way up to getting that weapon banner pity. 47 pity? Yeah, 47 pity. Going to 57 pity. Pulling on the weapon banner again. Hope to get the scythe. Give me that Crimson Moon semblance. Let's go. Let's fucking go! Okay, not it. Oh yeah, be sure you guys hit the <laughs> spam that like button because it will give me luck into getting <laughs> into getting the weapon. Hopefully. Also, Toma. I have seen I haven't seen six. Oh god damn it, not, not this stupid weapon again. Freaking eye perception. I called it trash <laughs> and now it's like haunting me. Yeah, I have Toma C6, so that doesn't really matter, but hey. Cool. More star glitter, I suppose. Okay, but this is probably the part where we get up to soft pity. So, we're in 57 pity right now. This is going to go to 67. I believe weapon banner pity is at 63. I don't remember. I, it's been a while since I summoned the weapon banner, not going to lie. But here's hoping it will be the scythe. Okay. Cross your fingers tight, folks. Cross your toes, fingers, and everything tight. Because I'll need it. I'll need the best luck possible. 57 pity to 67 pity. Come on, bring on the Crimson Moon. Bring on Father Alakina's weapon. Doctor, you're huge. I'm just gonna say that just for extra luck. Okay, there's a five star. Please. Please let it be the scythe. Please. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Okay, 58, 59, 60, 61, oh, that's a bad sign, 62, 63, no, god fucking damn it, I should have seen the signs, I should have seen the goddamn signs. No. Uh, I've already so many good five star bows though. I don't need more. I need the scythe. God damn it. Well, F's in chat, ladies and gentlemen. F's in the chat. This may be my unluckiest pulling session of all time. No. Uh, I mean, so it still has a chance of coming home here in, in this temple, but. Fuck me. Uh, that hurts. That really, really hurts. Uh. God damn it. Do I, do I even want to keep going? How many pulls do I have left? 90. Okay, so we can... Hmm. Uh, sh should I continue pulling? Should I? You know what? I'll do 30 more pulls. I'll do 30 more pulls. 30. That's it. And if I don't get the scythe here... I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and probably never touch a weapon matter ever again, honestly, because God, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Why Why the bow? Why? I mean, yeah, Jade Spear can be good on Articuno. I know, but I would much prefer a scythe. We're in 5 pity right now. This is going to go to like, yeah, 5 to 15. Probably we won't definitely not be hitting soft pity here at all. But here's hoping an early five star comes in and hopefully it's a Jade. Uh, not the Jade Spear, sorry. The Crimson Moon. I don't need another Jade Spear. <laughs> no, please. Get, get it. You did not hear that. I want the Crimson Moon. Please give it to me. All right, 10 to 15. Let's go. I'm just not going to cross my fingers anymore because I feel like crossing my fingers just gives me bad luck. Okay, four star. Hey, I got the new Claymore, though. Also, yeah, I got two four stars here. Okay. 
15 pity to 25. Second 10 pull. <gasps> oh, please. Please. <laughs> Fucking please. Let it be the sphere. Please let it be the crimson moon. Holy shit. I swear to God, if you give me another fucking bow, I am closing the stream right now. Please, please, please let it be the Crimson Moon. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Oh. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. Wow, teasing meat. 23. 24. <gasps> Fuck you! This, 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 this account is cursed. Th th this account is absolutely cursed. Look. Look. R4. Why? All right, that's gonna do for today's stream, everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why? I mean, at this point, yeah. Since I have full fate points, I'm pretty much guaranteed the scythe at this point. So, I feel like I might as well commit to just <laughs> commit suicide. No, no, I didn't. I don't mean that. But I might as well commit to just getting the weapon entirely. It's gonna use all my primos. I can just tell, but. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to do the good old swipey swipe for when uh, Cloran and uh, Siege Queen come around. Fuck it! We ball. We're just gonna go ahead and just jump yeah, into the banner and just get it since we're guaranteed anyways. Uh, well, at least it's early. At least it's early. Can I have it? I, I would give it to you, Landers. I would absolutely give you one of the books if I could and trade it for like a different weapon, but why? Out of all the weapons that I could lose the 2575 to, why does it keep... Why does it keep having that fucking book? Why do I just keep losing to that book? Okay, you might, might as well. Since we're, our fate points are maxed out, we can. I'm gonna try and hope it's early, and we're just gonna go all the way to. Yeah, just get the weapon because. <laughs> might as well. Yeah, should not let get let these fate points go away. So, uh, what? Where do we leave it off at? Oh yeah, I think it's like one pity. We're literally on one pity right now. So, fuck it. Let me just endow some my misery here. Please, just come home early and please stop giving me this stupid eye of perception. It's not good. <laughs> I would gladly fodder it in a heartbeat. But yeah, it's like 21 now. Oh, hey, too. I can R5 this Claymore now, I think. <laughs> well, not sure that, who that would be useful on, but hey, whoever's getting it is get it good. Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna just blast through the rain, the rain repulse here because we know it's guaranteed. It's not exciting anymore. But alrighty, this is 31. Uh, hey, got the attack and titan sword though. That's still pretty good. 41. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you guys, it's just going, gonna go all the way to hard pity. Also, hey, I got th three force weapons. I mean, I guess that's somewhat good. 51. Yeah, I think I, I think the early thing is gone now. <laughs> I don't think I think my luck has just completely dried up with Genshin. 61. Uh, and yeah, this next temple should get it, hopefully. Yep, literally using up all my primos here. <laughs> I, I'm probably gonna have to get Cloran and Seedreen on my main for this. But yeah, 71. There you are. Ugh. Just, just come home already. You stupid weapon. Ah. Uh, this may be my unluckiest pulls of all time. I'm not even joking. I feel like this is my unluckiest pulling session of all time, but hey, at least we got all the Kino and our weapon. Ugh. Pain. Absolute pain all around. <laughs> because, okay, for those of you who weren't here, the stream started off with me losing 50-50 to Mona and getting her C1. So, that was immediately bad off the bat. 
And then afterwards, the str my Wi-Fi died. <laughs> if you want to hear, hear earlier, my Wi-Fi died, and then the stream got cut in half. Like, it got cut off when I was doing my- in the middle of my summons. So that was already bad already. Arlequina did come, on, come home 10 pulls earlier, and then the second weapon came home, like, in 20 pity. But those are, like, the only lucky parts, if you even count them as lucky. It's just, yeah, this this whole pulling section was just a shit show. I feel like I have just the worst luck of my FTP account, but... Hey, at the very end of the day, we did manage to get Arlequino along with her signature weapon. And honestly... Worth it. <laughs> no matter what happens from here, I, I'll say it's worth it. Although I did wish I won my, uh... My summons and whatnot. But alrighty, folks. That about wraps it up for my summons for Arlequino. I hope you guys' pulls are a bit luckier than mine. And yeah, that is where... The polling's gonna come to a close.